All right, guys, so let's talk about inclines and gravitational force and the components of gravitational force that we have to deal with when we're dealing with objects that are moving on inclined surfaces. So when you start to deal with inclined surfaces, there's a couple of important things that you need to know about the forces that are acting on those objects. So number one, if you have, we'll, we'll take this very simple example first of an object that is sliding down an incline and it has a small friction force acting on it. So the friction force is going to point up the incline in the opposite direction of motion. You will also have a normal force that points in a direction that's perpendicular to the surface. So it looks a little bit like angled, but your gravitational force, which is your third force, will always just point straight down. Even on an inclined surface, gravity points straight down. So what we have to consider here is that if we were to just keep our X and Y axes in their normal position, so like Y axis straight up and down, X axis horizontal, um, that kind of complicates this process a little bit because it puts most of your forces and the direction of acceleration, it puts it like on an angle. And we don't want to do that. We want to make things simple, not hard. So instead of doing that, we're going to tilt our axes so that our normal force lies along the y-axis and the friction force and also the direction of acceleration, they lie along the x-axis. So that simplifies things a little bit. So now we only have to deal with one angled force and that is the gravitational force. So if we split the gravitational force into components, we have the x component of gravity pointing down the slope. We have the y component of gravity pointing kind of opposite the normal force. So if we want to now write expressions for those components components of gravitational force, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the angle of our incline and kind of look at like what angle that gravitational force makes with respect to the x and y axes here. So let's say that the angle with that the ramp makes with the um, horizontal surface is 30 degrees. So that 30 degree angle will also show up between your gravitational force and your y-axis, this tilted y-axis. The angle between your gravitational force and the x-axis then would be 60 degrees. So if we want to write an expression for the x component of the gravitational force, we are going to write that either as, we can write it as our gravitational force m times g times the sine of 30 degrees, or we can write it as mg times the cosine of 60 degrees. Those would be the same. And then for our y component of gravitational force, that we can write as mg times the cosine of 30 degrees or mg sine 60.